Take a look at how Columbus, Ohio has changed over the past 20 years. In the last decade alone, warehouses built here have swallowed up the equivalent of 1,030 football fields. Distribution centers are reshaping cities from the Midwest to California. And one company in particular is leading this growth. Amazon. 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 20 years ago, it took about 18 hours for a product to transit through an Amazon warehouse. By 2021, that time had come down to just two hours. That's thanks to an army of robots and workers who unload, store, pick, and pack millions of items every day. And although at first glance, this kind of work may not look so dangerous, when workers do the same movement over and over, it puts them at a high risk of suffering injuries known as musculoskeletal disorders, or MSDs. So she's off balance. She could trip, which also could sort of lead to an MSD. At first, I could not twist without getting like a jolt, and that's, that was already scary. I literally couldn't put a shirt on. Like, I could barely lift. It was bad. The rate of serious injuries at Amazon fulfillment centers was more than double that of other warehouses in 2021, making jobs like this among the most dangerous in the industry. We accessed rare video footage from inside an Amazon warehouse with one of the highest injury rates in the country and spoke to former employees to understand the true cost of Amazon's push for speed. Roughly one in four workers at this Amazon warehouse in DuPont, Washington, was seriously injured in 2020, including Takesha Williams. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> I never considered that just movements could cause injuries. I had no idea. Takesha was looking for a job that had flexible hours and would help cover childcare costs. So my daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor and I'd been home with my twins so I had to start to accommodate all of her appointments. So I decided I would just go work at Amazon overnight to just kind of alleviate the cost of that. She worked as a stower which meant climbing up and down ladders to sort incoming packages. I'm short, I'm 5'1", so I was on the ladder a lot, and that was extremely tiring. About five months in, Takesha began noticing pain in her shoulder. I probably would have thought I was having a heart attack if it would have been on my left side. It felt that bad. A doctor confirmed her shoulder sprain was a work-related MSD. On average, injuries like these are four times as likely to occur at Amazon than at other warehouses in Washington state. Regulators investigated the DuPont warehouse where Takesha worked in 2020. They found that Amazon wasn't doing enough to reduce hazards, and that there was a direct connection between injury rates and productivity expectations, or what's known at Amazon as making rate. Workers make rate when they meet or exceed the number of tasks they are expected to complete in a set time. Amazon says it does not require employees to meet specific productivity targets. But Takesha says she still felt the pressure to do so. I felt like I was just constantly, you know, just trying to keep something going so I didn't have to deal with not making rate. You're not taking the time to to properly do the movement safely. To better understand how workers can get injured, we showed the footage to Jonathan Dropkin, an ergonomist who treats workers with MSDs. This is hard. This is a really hard, physically demanding task, and you can see his muscles are really straining there. The Washington investigators rated this task, moving boxes from conveyor belts to pallets, a 3.1 out of 5 meaning it carries a very high risk of back injury over time. Loading packages onto trailers like this was deemed the most hazardous. Okay, so if I was to think of the first issue, it would be the neck, upper back, and shoulder, okay? If they're loaded with weight, there's a lot of torque on the spine as well. Do you see that right here? Any warehouse job carries a risk, but limiting the weight a worker lifts how much they twist their spine or the distance they have to reach for a product can help make their job safer. It should be right up to here. This is a really deep 
cage and I would make sure that everything is real close to the edge to limit the amount of bending, to limit the torque, the rotational force on this person. The Washington regulators also recommended new equipment, like these vacuum lifts that would help move heavy loads between pallets. Amazon spent more than $300 million on safety initiatives in 2021. These included implementing group stretching activities and creating wellness areas. So um, this is like, again, a poor man's version of a massage. Just get a massage therapist. And I, I mean, I get the costs, but this isn't really going to do anything because she's massage is about relaxation, right? About totally trying to relax as much as possible. This does not look relaxing. Insider asked Amazon whether it had also installed new equipment to improve worker safety, but the company declined to comment. Still, the push for speed at warehouses like this means that even with the correct movements, injuries are still likely. A lot of times lifting the proper way, maybe for one lift, would be okay. But if you're doing it all day, five days a week, and you're doing that for 10 years, you're going to get hammered eventually. Mark Takakura also worked at the DuPont warehouse. He says it was the combination of repetition and speed that caused his back injury. At first it was like when I, I remember it was like, first it was when I got up in the morning, like I could not twist without getting like a jolt. And that's, that was already scary. It took several months to, for that ache, for that sore to become a stiffness, to, from a stiffness, you know, to becoming more. And then eventually, you know, your, your bone, right? Your skeleton, your, my, in my case, my spine. Mark had been an active duty army medic for four years. He was drawn to a job at Amazon in 2020 because of the company's competitive wages and benefits. But initially he liked it. But after only a few months, he started feeling pain in his back. So from that point on, that section, if you were looking straight onto the building, all the way to the back, that's where my department is, okay? So if you can imagine from that, one trip all the way down, that's one trip as a water spider. Water spiders are workers who pull pallets loaded with hundreds of pounds of merchandise. I told them I was hurt and then they need to see it sometimes to believe it. And I, I think that's so bad. Okay. Mark's visited a chiropractor at least once a week for nearly a year to help manage the pain. That un uncertainty though, you know, yeah, that creates anxiety. So it's, it's rotating and bending, it's rotating and bending. It's that same motion. It's really hard on the spine. The first one we'll go ahead and start with is the YTW. Okay. Yep. Stretching here. Is it stretching here? Okay. X-rays show a degeneration in his spine. With Mark, his pain that he was feeling is right in here. And you can see as it come down, there's, it just, it kind of kinks a little bit right through here. So when, you add repetitive stress to something like this, that's already, it's already a compromised area. The risk of injury increases. See, that, that is hard to do from here, actually. It's not a normal thing to do. I got it from, you know, from just that constant pace that they love, right? That pace is eventually gonna catch you. We asked Amazon to comment on Mark and Takesha's experiences. It said, while we aren't perfect, the anecdotes don't represent the experiences of the majority of our more than 750,000 frontline employees. Amazon maintains that it's taking steps to become Earth's safest place to work. But the company was fined $60,000 in March 2022 for willfully violating safety rules at another Washington warehouse, its fourth citation since May 2021. And its safety crisis has become a rallying cry for union organizers. What this company represents is putting profits above people. They're ran completely off of metrics. We watch our coworkers get carried out on stretches every other day. And we're, we want to fight back for what we rightfully deserve. For Mark and Takesha, the changes Amazon promised didn't come soon enough. We're not your machines, okay? We're people and you can treat, no, we deserve to be treated way better. What are they willing to do to, you know, try to minimize that high injury rate? I love my prime, my one day shipping. That's it, are you done or are you gonna go play? To get stuff out like that, 
people have to be moving really fast.